Hi everyone. In this article we're going to talk about the EFI relay output on modular ECUs. Now the modular ECUs have the ability to drive an EFI relay and if you don't want to use it for an EFI relay then you can use that as a fuel pump relay control output. The output can only switch to ground, it can't switch to 12 volts so the other side of the relay core needs to be connected to a 12 volt supply. Let's discuss the most basic system of all which is where the ignition switch drives the relay directly and the relay powers up the ECU and the injectors and the ignition coils and everything else. So in this case we'll use the relay output control of the ECU to drive a fuel pump relay. So in this case we connect our power from the EFI relay into pin 7 on J2 of the M2000 or M6000 ECU and that becomes the power source for the ECU. The EFI fuel pump relay output then triggers the negative side of the fuel pump relay and we leave the ignition switch input disconnected on the ECU. The setting in the ECU needs to be selected as fuel pump relay output and you can find it under functions EFI slash fuel pump relay output function. And if you ever need to disable the fuel pump relay you can just set that output pin to none instead of fuel pump relay. And if you need to drive it continuously for whatever reason, for example to drain a fuel pump, you just select it as EFI relay output instead and then it'll switch on whenever the ECU has got 12 volt power. The fuel pump relay's function is that it turns on for a fixed amount of time when the ECU first gets 12 volts, which is called the prime time, and this would normally be say 3 seconds or 5 seconds or something like that. And then it'll switch on whenever the ECU sees that we have RPM. That is whenever it's seeing triggers on crank angle sensor input number one. When they stop the fuel pump relay will switch off. Now on some cars the fuel pump is not controlled by a relay but a separate fuel pump control module where its input needs to go high to enable the fuel pump instead of being pulled low like an input to a relay coil. So in this case you can set the output function to be fuel pump relay inverted and then you'll need an external pull up resistor to say 5 volts or 12 volts or something like that so that the output goes high when the ECU doesn't pull the output low. The next possible function is an EFI relay. So in this case the ECU can actually control the EFI relay to power up itself and also the ignition and injection system on the ECU. To make this work you need to connect the ignition switch input which goes up to 12 volts when the key is in the on position into the ignition switch input pin on J2 of the M2000 or M6000. The EFI relay output pin then turns on the EFI relay whose the other side of the coil needs to be connected to 12 volts to be able to do this. And this provides 12 volts to the injectors, the ignition system and also to the ECU on pin 7. Now pin 7 of the ECU has to be connected to the injector power because being switching mode lone pins injector drivers that's where the current gets recirculated back to. And to make this work you then need to set that output as being EFI relay function in the software. And if you're not using that pin at all you can either set it to none or whatever you like because it's not going to affect anything. Thank you very much.